the yes. two of us go way back. We do. To Dream Girls. We do, allegedly, we go back to Dream Girls. Now, this is something you may not even know. Uh -huh. So, guys, before Jennifer, Oscar winner, uh, was Effie, I auditioned. Yes? <laughs> Thank you. Um, I auditioned for Effie. You did? Way in the beginning, way before, long, long. And so for the longest time, they hadn't cast you yet. Uh -huh. So Bill Condon would call and go, Yvette, can you come in and do a screen test with someone? Can you come in and do a storyboard for the movie? So we were, me and two other people were popping in, doing stuff until you guys all got cast. And so, yeah, so I was there. And Bill Condon, wonderful, gave us each a role in the film. Now, you haven't seen me in Dream Girls because <laughs> my part was cut. <laughs> um, all that remains is a picture of me walking with Jamie Foxx across the lobby in a horrible uh, polyester suit and a bad... There I am. Ooh, I found a picture. <laughs> um, so that's from the director's cut because I got cut out of the film. But yeah, that's my dream girl story. Oh, my God. Yeah. That is... So yeah. you almost took my role. I, girl, can't nobody take no role from you? Are oh, you crazy? Oh, no, no. I'm like, she Listen, almost stole my Jim, role, I was in the theater. And you know, you, you know, you lose a role, so you're sad. So I was in the theater, and you, you... The first note of, and I'm telling you, I said, well, that's why she got it. <laughs> I can't feel bad. She about to win an Oscar. I just knew it. I knew it. <laughs> okay, let's have some dream girls fun. Yes, come on. Okay. Ask me. Wait, what? wait. So it was 41 years Can ago. Can you believe it? No. 41, and I'm only 40 myself. Listen! <laughs> Let me tell you about my moment. Earlier, we added it up. Look, look at this. Oh, thank you. I, I remember that. Uh, that was another great center stage moment. I remember taking that picture, and we were so happy because we knew we had a hit on our hands. Yeah. Wow. Yep. I'm, I'm in awe. I'm really having a moment because I wish I could have been able to see that. Oh. And then I was going to say, I was born the year it came out. Yes. Do you remember what your audition was like? I'll never forget my audition because I remember that day walking into, it was 890 Broadway, Michael Bennett's big theater, and I walked in there and I was walking behind Loretta Devine because uh -huh. Lor Loretta Devine was already, you know, becoming Loretta Devine. And these women in the room, they were not singers, they were singers, baby. <laughs> And they was, the, the building was literally levitating off of the concrete. That's how wonderful they were. And then there was me. <laughs> and um, everybody was doing their whole thing, and they asked me to sing. And they said, just, you know, sing something from church. So I sang Ave Maria. They were very quiet. Uh, I think they were thinking something more in the Baptist vein. <laughs> And they did not know that I was a little Episcopalian girl. <laughs> so I sang my little song and I sat down. At the end of the day, because this was hours now, at the end of this, they said, very dramatically, if I call your name, it's your day. If I don't, it's not. It was dramatic. Uh, like yeah, that. Very, yes, it was very dramatic. And then they said, Loretta Devine, uh, duh, um, Ramona Brooks, and, and I'm getting ready to leave. And Cheryl Lee Ralph. <laughs> when we did Dream Girls, baby, our work was step, touch, step, touch. You want a show? Come on. Oh, you want me to come too? <laughs> oh, Lord. I don't know if I can keep up. Yeah, you can. We, we need some dream girl magic. You got oh. yours? Oh! I can't believe I get to do this. Girl, now this is not any cheap boa, so you know I'm keeping it. Yes, ma'am, you better. So, <laughs> are we tossing it around the neck? I'm following your lead. You the original dream girl, baby, now, not me. All you have to remember okay. when you when you move and you know this. Yes, ma'am. It's like Bevel. you want them thank you. And you want them to see that you're wonderful, that you love being here on stage. You dream girl, Come on. We'll make it happen. Now make it sway. Oh, oh, oh. Yes, ma'am. And you look at them, you look up. Dream That's girl, right. Come on, sing thing. Now okay. wait, here we go. Dream. Girl. Look up, Dream look girl. down. Dream girls will never leave you. Come on! I know you got to do And guess what? I'll be there. Oh, she's here, y'all! I don't Well, I'm trying to think, when was the last time we seen each other? A long time, because your child was a child. My child. <laughs> you ain't a child no more. David, you ain't grown. But listen, oh my goodness, okay. Anika, what do you, what's some of your dream girls' memories? Because we've never even really had a chance to have we a had. moment like this. I think one of the first thing that I remember and remember really fondly was 
the first moment that the three of us sang together. And that blend hit, and I remember vividly, we went. Because <laughs> <laughs> a blend is not something you can create. It's either there or it's not there. Yep. And it was fantastic. But now you are front and center. Yes. How does that feel? It feels amazing. You know, it's been such a full circle moment. You know, I, I started out on Glee, mm -hmm. playing Mercedes Jones, and she was... <laughs> we yeah. all love you on Glee, yeah, that's, that's for it. sure. And, you know, her character, you know, never was always fighting for the spotlight. And then I did Effie in Dreamgirls. And I Effie. got to see you do it! That little Effie in Dreamgirls. How amazing was that, that you were, like, actually in the UK when I did that? Like, that's crazy! You best believe I was gonna be there. <laughs> oh, I made a point. I said, I got to go see Amber do this, and it was amazing. Thank you! Beautiful, So, beautiful the, you know, playing Effie, and you know that, that... I know, I'm sure that you became very close to that character, like I became very close to that character, and really knew her and having her story be like this, um, you know, gift and not being able to be out in the front. Right. And I felt that. And so I feel like doing things like Mass Singer, doing things like Dancing with the Stars, I get to triumph for those, I get to be the triumphant, right. you know, for those stories. Yeah. Yeah. I get to be the winner for yeah. those stories. And like, it's yeah. just full circle for me. If you like this video, smash that like button and subscribe to the Jennifer Hudson Show YouTube channel. Check your local listings or visit JenniferHudsonShow.com to see when you can watch full episodes in your area. And don't forget to sign up for the newsletter.